Hello and welcome, Leo. I am Pisces Intuition. <clears throat> All right, so Leo, this is just going to be your week ahead um, kind of forecast. And um, I will be taking an oracle card first. So I just shuffled and you got card number 33, which is the camel boy. So uh, small steps and asking for help. So, you know, this is um, almost kind of reminds me of the Knight of Pentacles card, you know, that slow and steady progress, you know, just taking small steps to achieving your goal, um, kind of that walking before you can run, you know, type situation. And, you know, definitely knowing that, you know, it's okay to ask for help if, you know, if need be. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get into uh, some Oracle cards for you guys, and I will be taking a Rune Stone as well. Um, also, I want to incorporate a pendulum here on my channel just so you guys can kind of, you know, see how one's used. If you're not familiar with it, um, you know, definitely tune in next week because I will be doing a, um, a video on it and also talking about how you can cleanse your uh, pendulum, things like that. Um, but if you have a question, a yes or no question for me and my pendulum that I can answer for you, you know, please feel free to drop it in the comments section and then I will be compiling them for each um, zodiac. And, you know, like I said, making a video answering those questions. So if you are interested, like I said, just drop it in the comment section. All right, so Leo. All right, Leo, the first card you get. Okay, that's transition. All right, so now um, transition in uh, traditional tarot. That is the death card, you know, card number 13. And, you know, transition, it just talks about moving on. It talks about, um, you know, almost that transformation, you know, kind of just ending the cycle and, you know, starting something new. All right, and then we have the Ten of Flames. All right, so in this deck, um, the flames are like wands. And so, you know, think of this as the Ten of Wands, which is, you know, carrying heavy burdens, kind of. Um, but, you know, with it being card number 10, I mean, it is the ending, you know, again, going back to this ending, you know, this is an ending of kind of a heavy situation, one that's really been kind of weighing on your shoulders, you know, feeling, um, leaving you feeling very burdened. So, um, you know, this is you, like I said, with this 10 of flames here, um, you know, you're going to be ending the cycle. So that's a positive way to look at it. But, you know, like I said, it has been very burdensome to you. It's been, you know, very, um, very weighing on you. All right. And with the seven of crystals here, this is saying how, you know, you've been kind of waiting. You know, crystals um, are like pinnacles in a traditional tarot. So, you know, here it's, you know, like you've been kind of waiting for answers. You've been kind of waiting for the okay or, you know, waiting um, for you to kind of make some movement, you know, to kind of go ahead and end this situation. You know that an ending needs to come to this. You know that there needs to be a transition. You need to move forward. You need to move away from this particular situation that's been so burdensome for you. And, you know, like I said, you've just, you've been waiting. So, you know, um, Leo, I'm definitely getting the, top, getting the, um, the sense that, you know, you really need to uh, take that movement, you know, make that happen. All right. All right. So, Seven of Swords or seven of orbs, which is also like uh, swords in traditional tarot. You know, this is again kind of telling me that, uh, you know, usually it's, you know, someone, um, you know, kind of being sneaky, you know, like they're trying to, you know, get away with like taking all the swords, you know, peeking around the corner, holding some while they're looking back at a couple, you know, that's the traditional tarot card of, you know, seven of swords, you know, in this particular one. You know, it's like he is trying to get away with something. So either, you know, you fear that um, someone's kind of taken something from you and they've, you know, kind of gotten away with, you know, whatever it is that they've done to you that's kind of left you feeling like, you know, what do I do from here? Like, you know, this situation needs to end now because they've already taken, you know, everything from me and now they're leaving with it. You know, that's just, I don't know if this is going to resonate with everybody, but that is definitely for somebody here. You know, somebody here is, like I said, definitely feeling like this person has taken everything from them and they're moving on and you're not getting the answers. You're just kind of waiting for answers. You know, you want to know why. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple more tarot for you. Yeah. 
yeah okay so again um you know going back to the camel boy hair like i said night of um well this is a night of chalices here you know but this is slow and steady progress like i said with the knight of chalices this is you like you were offering you know your cup you had you know you were offering everything you had and this person's like okay and they took it and they just kind of left you behind wait left you waiting for answers left you waiting like you know just feeling very burdened you know carrying that heavy weight on your shoulders like i don't understand i don't understand why they took it if they weren't going to stay if they weren't going to try to make things work with me they just took it and they left all right so let me get one more card please for leo All right, so then we have um, the Page of Athames, and this is the Page of Swords. So, you know, this is someone who, um, you know, I am. it could be someone kind of, you know, spying on you. This could be you kind of spying on them, you know, because I get that, you know, with this heavy burden, you want answers. You're not getting those answers. So you're kind of, you know, like peeping their Facebook, their Instagram, you know, whatever it is, you know, social media, you're just kind of watching it and you're just trying to get those answers that you desperately want that they're not giving you, you know, and you just want closure to the situation, which, you know, I do see you getting closer. I do see you moving on, you know, it may not be in the way that you expect, but, you know, like I said, it's going to be take time. It's going to be slow and steady progress. But I do see you getting um, that closure and moving forward. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, right now we have conflict and defeat. <clears throat> Card number five. You know, and this is talking about exactly what it's saying. You know, you just feel like, you know, you, <laughs> you were defeated. I mean, you're just feeling like they got away with it, you know, and for lack of a better term, I don't want to say they got away with murder, but it's almost like, you know, whatever they took from you, you know, they got away with it and you're just feeling very defeated. You know, there's lots of, um, you know, there could have been some arguments or could have been, you know, and honestly, I think this is just you in conflict with yourself because you didn't get the answers from your, from that person. You know, they could have ghosted you. Um, and again, just taken you know, taking that cup that you had to offer and then just ghosted, you know, they just left. And, you know, again, I don't think you're getting the answers that you really want and you just, you feel defeated. All right. So one more card here. All right. But again, like I said, going back to that camel boy and then, you know, just going off of, based off of, uh, you know, the first cards we lay down, the card of transition, um, you know, we have triumph here. So it's almost like I said, you get some kind of closure. It may not be how you expected or how you wanted to get it, but you do get some kind of triumph, um, some kind of triumph, some kind of closure to move you forward to know, you know what, this is the situation. It's, it's done. It's over. You know, uh, you know, it sucked. It was so burdensome. You know, I gave it my all. I gave my love. I gave my cup. You know, I shared my emotions. And in the end, it just, it wasn't worth it. You know, it wasn't worth to feel that conflict, that defeat, you know, to wait around for answers that I'm not getting from this person. So I'm going to, you know, close it myself and I'm going to be triumphant. I'm going to move forward. It's going to be slow and steady progress. It's going to take, you know, some small steps or maybe some hiccups along the way. But you know what? I'm going to be triumphant in the end. All right. So that is what I'm getting for you, Leo. So now let's take some angel answers. Okay. And that did not take much shuffling at all. And out comes success. So really, you know, you're going from this very negative to, um, you know, to this extreme positive, you know, just feeling, like I said, very overly burdened, you know, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, not getting answers to, you know what, finally, I feel triumphant. And, you know, I'm feeling successful because I'm choosing to end this. I'm choosing to move on. I'm choosing to close this out. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's see. Let's go ahead and do your rune stone. All right. Because, yeah, I don't think I need to take any more oracle cards with that. Success kind of says it all. <laughs> all right. So now, let's see. We have... If I can get it to focus. There we go. All right, so this is your runestone that I drew for your sign, Leo. And this particular runestone, it means joy. Again, it means success. So like I said, you are going from, you know, 
just feeling kind of, you know, overburdened, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders to triumph, to success. You know, and then we have this rune stone, you know, kind of reiterating the same thing, you know, success, you know, joy, peace, you know, all the positive things, you know, so just stay optimistic, you know, um, just kind of, you have to go through the, go through the emotions, go through these feelings of, you know, whatever this is, this burdensome, you know, relationship, like I said, whatever it was, because, you know, you are learning something from this situation, but, you know, like I said, in the end, there's triumph and there's success, you know, for you, Leo. So, all right, well, that is, um, all I have for you today. Like I said, for your week ahead, you know, this weekend going into next week, um, I thank you and appreciate you for spending time with me watching my videos. And again, if you are interested in the pendulum yes or no questions, drop it in the comments section below and I will get that video out next week. So again, thank you guys and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend and rest of the week.